<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. What we have to talk about today is an RTA. This comes from Blitz Enterprises. This is their Intrepid RTA. It does both single and dual coil modes. And honestly, it's pretty banging little RTA. But in order to get to know this RTA just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we often do. That's right. Quick short up closey time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the Blitz Enterprises Intrepid RDA. It's all put together right now, but it's not wicked or filled, so that is going to be our mission right now. I've got the black Dilrin drip tip on there right now, but it does come with a few other options as well. Of course, Ultim's hanging around, so it comes with an Ultim one. And then mine also included this sort of, uh, you know, acrylic-y, pearly-looking, purpley drip tip, which I think looks pretty cool. It does have those outer O-rings, and it is recoil-sized, and these DHD macarons fit on there, but they don't go all the way down. It's just a little bit of a, of a tolerance difference right there. But they do fit on here and they don't look horrible, but if that gap bothers you, this isn't a road you want to go down. So let's put purpley guy back on. It's got a real simple fill system. There's just these little arrows right here and you just kind of press on the top. There's a little clip right here. There's your juice fill right there. Snap it closed. Super easy. Taking a look at that 510 pin on the bottom. Yeah, that is a very nice protruding static and firm 510 pin. Adjustable airflow on the bottom as well that stops at the full open and stops at the full closed and then just kind of glides everywhere in between. It's firm so it will stay where you put it. And then of course the whole thing comes apart so you can build it and wick it and clean it. The glass portion of the tank is just held on here with an o-ring and that pops off so you can clean it easily and pop it back on. Big one piece chimney on the inside and then there's that postless deck design. You can see the ceramic airflow thing kind of in the middle there. This is the one that's set up for dual coils so it's got two little swoops right there for you to fit your coils in. Postless deck, flathead screws, rather easy to build on. I was able to install these MTurk alien coils real quick. And then when you wick it, you have this big juice well down here that's exposed to the outside of the tank, which is where your juice is going to be sitting, and then it hits your it hits your wicks and then goes up to your coils. Now this does come with another ceramic insert, so you can run single coils on this RTA if you want to. You get another guy like this that you can pop in there and run a single coil right through the middle there. And these are held in place by these little flat, clear O-rings. And I'm not exactly sure if this is going to show up on camera, but do you see right there? Can you see right in this corner? There's just an O-ring from this, that clear O-ring right there. It's just kind of smushed out the top. I was swapping these back and forth between the single coil and the dual coil little ceramic cup airflow thing right here. And for some reason, I could not get this one in without the O-ring smushing out the top. And it's just one of those things to be aware of. It's not necessarily a deal breaker and it doesn't cause any weird leaking or anything, but sometimes be careful putting these in and out. Make sure your O-ring is at least, you know, mostly seated in the bottom. For some reason, I just couldn't get this little part down in there. So yeah, that's really all there is to see. I'm going to wick this, juice this, and fill this real fast. With this RTA, I pull my cotton through and I leave them long on the sides and then I kind of measure. I kind of push this down right here because you want your wicks to fill up this little juice cup juice flow area right here and not be too tight in there and not be too loose and definitely not too short. If you end up cutting your wicks too short, they're not going to fill up that juice cup and you're just going to get a lot of flooding. So kind of pull them down and measure them and see, yeah, kind of where you need to cut them to fill up that little cup right there. And then all you do is you just pop your wicks down in there. Really very simple. Then all you got to do is wet your coils, get them nice and wet, get the cotton all nice and wet, put it all together and fill up your tank. Yeah, boom, just like that. It's wicked, it's filled. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this guy.
I've really been having a great time with this Intrepid RTA from Blitz Enterprises. Blitz Enterprises did that Warcraft RTA not too long ago that I also really enjoyed as well. So first things first, let's go over some things I really like about this RTA. I dig the airflow. I dig the airflow a lot. It's a really nice resistance. It's not too open. It's not too stiff. It's in that nice creamy middle part of airflow that I really enjoy. The airflow is easily adjustable and I just leave it full open all the time because to me that's it's perfect. That's the perfect airflow for this tank. I also really like that postless deck design. It just makes a lot of sense in an RTA. It's very easy to build and it is very easy to wick. I've built and wicked this a few times now and I've never had an issue with any sort of leaking or gurgling or flooding in any way. I've said this a lot in the past but RTAs are kind of always this little bit of a balancing act between, you know, the diameter of your coil, how much cotton you use, your juice viscosity. All these things need to be working a little bit harmoniously to get the perfect vape and to avoid any sort of gurgling or leaking issues as well as any dry hit issues. One of the times that I built this, I put far, far too much cotton in there, far too much cotton. And I started getting dry hits, dry hits and dry hits and dry hits. So it really is a little bit of a balancing act as far as how much cotton you're putting in this. I do also really like the way you fill up this tank. This is a design that a lot of other Chinese manufacturers, including Joytech, have used in the past, but there's just those little arrows and you just push it, pop it open, bleh, fill your juice, snap it back shut, very easy. And I do also get very, very nice flavor on this RTA. For being more of like a cloud chasing, clouds bro clouds type of RTA, it has very good flavor. I always hate those arbitrary scales like on a scale of one to 10, how's the flavor? And I don't know, that doesn't matter. It's rad. You will definitely be able to taste whatever juice you're putting in here very well. I've got this loaded up with that Poet. Which one is this? This is the Bourbon Spice. Spice roll. It's like a bourbon cinnamon roll. It, it tastes like Christmas time and it tastes delicious in this tank. So a few things I'm not in love with with this tank. I'm not a huge fan of pulling out and putting in those little ceramic, uh, you know, dippy coil things. I don't really see the point in those. One airflow slot through the middle that could accommodate either single or dual coils would have made a lot more sense to me. And getting those little ceramic parts in and out of there is a little bit fiddly and a little bit cumbersome. Those clear O-rings on the bottom of the ceramic pieces, they don't like to stay put when you're putting them in and out when you're pulling them in and out. Thankfully, you don't really have to do that unless you're switching back and forth a lot between single and dual coil builds. The first build I put in here was a single coil build. I've only been using it as a dual coil build since, and I have no desire at the moment to go back to a single coil build. I'm also not super in love with the way this tank looks. It's just kind of, meh, a boring tank. It's just a boring stainless steel tank. They do stainless steel, they do black, they do that fake, uh, you know, heat-treated rainbowy look color that I'm personally not in love with, but it seems like a lot of people enjoy it. So more for them. It's just kind of a boring looking tank. It's just a stainless steel tank with red O-rings and it looks like a tank. It doesn't have any particularly clean lines or cool knurly bits or logos or graphics or anything. It's not a particularly clean looking tank. And I realize that's getting really nitpicky, but there's not a lot bad I'm going to say about this tank. I really like it. I've really enjoyed using it. And best of all, you're not going to need your vape budget hands really at all. I found this all over the internet, including Element Vape for $30. $30 is almost in that price range where you could buy one just to try it out. And for 30 bucks, you're you're getting a banging RTA. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all of my vape gear and I have literally nothing left to buy, is the Blitz Enterprises Intrepid RTA something I would seek out right away and buy? Probably not. It's a great tank, but it's not something I feel I desperately need in my collection. I have a list of RTAs that I love. So while the Intrepid is a great RTA, it's just not something that I feel I need to buy right away. There's nothing real groundbreaking or innovative with this RTA. It's a great RTA and it's gonna get added to the list of other good RTAs in the vape world. So a few things I didn't mention, it's a Pyrex glass tank, it's a full stainless steel construction, it's a 3.5 mil tank, and they also 
also say it's a 24.5 millimeter diameter, which sounds like a weird measurement at first, but I put it on a bunch of 24 millimeter mech mods, including that V-God mech mod that's 24 millimeters, and it sat on there fine and looked completely flush to me. Maybe visually you can't see a 0.5 millimeter difference, and yeah, I did not. It actually sits and looks good on both 24 and 25 millimeter mech mods. This is a 0.14 ohm dual coil build on here, so yeah, it actually works really great on a mech mod. So yeah, anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna wrap this up. It's the Intrepid from Blitz Enterprises. I'm gonna throw some links down in the description where you can check it out if you are interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.